Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone who's watching, listening, of course, YouTube, Spotify, even on Facebook. So we are very lucky to have one of our cyber CEOs on the show today. Renee, how are you doing this beautiful morning? I am doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. All right. That's perfect. That's perfect. I can see the background. Is that your dog? Is that... Oh, oh, so... Uh... Mm -hmm. Yes, I have your, I have 24 dogs. Wow. So I'm probably your craziest, you know, animal lover on this podcast <laughs> today. And I have a dog underneath my seat. <laughs> wow. That's exciting. Working with him right there with you. That's very, very yeah. exciting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm sorry. Gotta have a bodyguard, you know? <laughs> of course. Every time. So yeah. for our listeners to know more about you, Renee, can you tell us something about yourself for our listeners to know? Yeah, so my name is Renee Anderson. I work in Stafford, Virginia at Keller Williams Capital Properties. I have a team of three people um, and I've been in real estate seven years. Prior to that, I spent 20 years in the Air Force. Wow, 20 years in the Air Force and now in real estate. That's, a, 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 let's say, two different things. All right, quite a jump for you. <laughs> well, not really, because I, I babysit members of Congress and generals in the Air Force, so you know, real estate's all about taking care of people. Okay. <laughs> so it was just like a natural transition, right? <laughs> okay. Yes, that we could say that. Okay. Okay. Yep. So um, here's what I'm going to do. Um, every start of our podcast here in Cyber CEO, we share the mission of Cyberbacker just for our clients to know. Okay. Now, Cyberbacker has a goal to create 15,000 jobs by December 31st of 2025 and profit share 5 million back to its associates while, of course, partnering with business owners like yourself who work with us because of our business. Now, we wanted to take the opportunity, of course, to share your experience with Cyberbacker. That is why we invited you on the podcast. So how long have you been working with Cyberbacker, Renee? So we have been working together since the end of February. End of February. It's only been a few end months. End of February this year. Yeah. Ooh. How has it been so far? I I wish I had found Ika mm -hmm. <laughs> like two years ago mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> because she has literally changed my life. Yes. So yeah. it's I, I have nothing bad to say about the Cyberbacker program. All right. So life changing then. Okay. Now talking about. Definitely. Talking about Ika, what can you tell me about her working with her since February? Oh, gosh. So, you know, we, we had all the interviews and I really like honed in on her her degree on um, on marketing. That was something that I'm big into social media mm -hmm. and kind of putting myself out there, my business and everything. And um, she, that that was the one thing I loved about her. But there are so many other things, because even though she's really fantastic with that, she's like very organized, which I am not because I'm all over the place. And um, we just have a really great partnership because she she gets me. <laughs> like she understands me. I think that's very, very important, right? Um, not just because of a good resume, good background. Your personalities should also mesh. Am I right? Oh my gosh, a hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, um, what makes this kind of partnership work? Because, of course, this isn't the typical type of, let's say, client and assistant relationship that we've had be previously, correct? Because this right. is in the virtual world. What kind of what kind of things had did you have to do to make it a successful one? Yeah, so it was, really, it was kind of awkward in the beginning because, you know, she's in the Philippines. I'm here in Virginia. Um, some of the things we did is we rec or she records every session we have because she's not in my office. She can't come back and ask me a second time how to do something. So she records everything. And that was on her to do, which I, you know, I think is great. Um, you know, what else makes it successful? I mean, she like she's very flexible. We work as a team. If I have an, a success, like I tell her we have a success. Right. Because we are a team. And I just feel like because I because I 
you know, treat her like an equal. Mm -hmm. It just makes her want to do so much more for me. And I just feel, I mean, she's happy, right? I'm happy. (laughs) So who doesn't want to come to work happy? So um, we, yeah, she, we just make it work. That's absolutely right. Because to make this kind of relationship work, teamwork, also happiness, of course, for you to be able to reach the goals every year, right? (laughs) <laughs> yep. I treat her the same way I would treat a client. I mean, you know, that's yeah. great. That's really, really great. Now, um, I know you've been working with your cyber backer only since um, February, but how much time has she saved you ever since she got on board with you and your team? Yeah, um, I have my weekends back. Um, yes. So I started as a productivity coach this year. And so that's helped as well. But, but how Ica plays into that is she, I mean, schedules the showings for them. She Mm -hmm. gathers all the information. She schedules open houses. She sends that to them. She communicates to my clients. I mean, I'm literally out there getting business while she's on the back end doing that sort of business. So my weekends are back. Oh, seven years (laughs) and my weekends are back. Um, and then at night I just go home and I know the next morning, if there was something that needed to be done, then she would, you know, have it taken care of. And I just come to work and I, you know, start doing the, what real estate agents do. I get business. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Now I know for a lot of people, um, they really love to work seven days a week, but you mentioned that you got your weekends back. How big was that for you? That was life changing. I mean, I, yes sitting in my pajamas on my couch, <laughs> doing nothing, <laughs> but maybe responding to a text where she might have a question. I mean, that's life changing for me. Um, I, that's probably the biggest thing that I've enjoyed is just time to myself, time for my family, time for my 24 dogs. I mean, I, yes, this is why I'm happy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I should have done it like three, four years ago, maybe, but uh, yeah, first year having an assistant. So I, I yeah, it's great. But you already have, of course, the cyber backer, the partner that you needed. And you don't have to worry. Of course, we would really still want to continue with this partnership for the years to come. Don't worry about it, okay? Now, <laughs> there are a lot of clients or people right now listening to the podcast that don't really know how to take advantage of their own cyber backers. So for them to know, um, what are the things or the tasks that you have I could do for you and your business? Oh gosh. Okay. So she does my social media posts. Um, she like, she puts them on Facebook. She sends them to me for, for me to upload them on Instagram. She puts them on LinkedIn. She responds to everybody that gets on those social media or that social media platform. Um, she writes listing agreements. She writes buyer contracts. Um, like I said, she records everything. If I, if I'm with a productivity client, she'll record the session. And, and during the session, if I've asked the productivity client to do something or to send something, she, she's the one that follows up. She's the one that gathers the information. She's the one that schedules, right. For the next call. We, I'm literally just having the conversation with these people and she's recording everything. So she's my second brain. (laughs) Um, so I mean, there's so much that she does. Um, We're getting into TikTok. I mean, you know, she's always researching, always collaborating with other cyber backers. I mean, so much. Hopefully, hopefully I've given you enough, but there's a lot more that she does that I'm just not saying. But, oh, she goes through all my emails. If there's something important, she sends me a text. Hey, so-and-so needs this. Well, you know. That's a lot of thing. things. We just agree. Oh, a lot I of mean, things. It's, it's like this, it's like this big, right? <laughs> How many things? It's very, very exciting. So, in the future, of course, these kinds of relationship they really tend to grow. So, more tasks would be available for her to do. So, what are some of the things that you're considering having? I could do for you in the future. Right. So she's now. Well, we've talked about TikTok and mm-hmm. um, doing video, and so she's. I'm just out there when I'm showing houses, doing the video and sending it to her. So we're just kind of getting into that. Um, She's writing, um, I don't even know the name of it, but I have my productivity clients, right? So it's Mm -hmm. a new program in our office. It's not new to Keller Williams, but in our office it's new. And so we're putting together all the, the, you know, training manuals for that. Um, So she's just kind of building everything. So, you know, if, if, heaven forbid I died, like somebody could just come and step in and I could would know everything, right? <laughs> um, she's, 
yeah, so that's what we're doing. And that's what, you know, in the future, but I want to get more into social media and she knows that. And um, again, it's just a matter of how much time I have to, you know, give her information, but she's coming up with very clever ideas. So the big thing I would say is social media, social marketing. media, social yeah. media, marketing, getting your name out there. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Especially <laughs> now it's like the age of social media where everything has to be on Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, others, right? TikTok, yes. And yeah, I'm not, TikTok. I feel like I'm too old for it, but she's like, <laughs> no, Renee, you're not too old. <laughs> so, really has, you really have to do it. <laughs> She forces you. Make me feel young again. <laughs> yeah, TikTok. It has been, let's say, I think in the past few months, it's been booming. Really, a lot of business there, a yeah. lot of great ideas that would be yeah. there on TikTok. Yeah. So I would absolutely love to check though your videos on TikTok too. <laughs> yeah, I would love it. <laughs> All right. Please, one like. <laughs> <laughs> of course, from me. Don't worry about it. Now. These kinds of relationships, um, sometimes they don't really start off great. Now, I just wanted to ask, have there been any challenges or let's say opportunities that you've had working with your own cyber backer? Yeah, so I would say in the beginning, it you know, it just wasn't natural for me. Um, but I felt like the more I opened up, like you would, um, you know, somebody working with you in the office, they want to know, are you married? Do you have kids? Do you have dogs? Like I just really opened up to her because the first couple of weeks it is whether she's in the office or online, right? It is kind of awkward. Um, but really, I, I I think we just have such a great relationship. Like I would do anything for her. And I feel like like she would drop what she's doing and do something for me when we just have that kind of relationship that is so, I don't know, unique. And I love it. And like my husband knows her, he'll pop in and be like, hey, Ika, she literally knows all my dogs, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, the other thing that, that was kind of a challenge is, you know, sometimes, um, you know, weather in the Philippines, the internet goes down. Um, so we have like a little bit of a hiccup there, but she's really resourceful. She'll go to an area somewhere in the Philipp where she's located and to find an internet connection. Right. Rather than sitting there going, OK, well, I can't work today because I can't get on. No, she she finds literally literally goes and finds an area where, um, you know, she's able to get on and let me know, hey, my Internet's down. I'm still working. I'm still here. Text me if you need me, because that's probably the easiest way to get through to her. Imagine so, that. But not many hiccups. I mean, I can't complain. That's the commitment, that's the of course. Of it, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. And by the way, that is the commitment of our cyber backers to our cyber CEOs. Actually, no matter what happens, we will still try to work and finish everything within the day, no matter how strong the typhoon is. Don't worry about it. All right. So, um, also, a lot of our listeners and questions. Um, what advice would you want? To, I mean, to give these, these people when hiring their own cyber backer. Yeah, I mean, I would really, you know, first write down everything that it is that you want your cyber backer to do. I didn't do that. And thank goodness that Ika is so flexible with me. But I would say if I had done that up front, maybe our transition would have been a little more, more smoother because I would have given her more things that, you know, she knew she was going to do rather than piecemeal it to her. But that way you're really going to know, hey, if some there was another cyber backer that I was thinking about hiring mm -hmm. and she didn't know anything about social media. Well, that wasn't going to work for me and it was not going to be a good partnership. So you really want to make sure that you're writing down all those things that you want her to do so that you're not, you're not setting them up for failure right from the get go. Of course, of course, yeah. because again, these kinds of things, they really, this really needs, uh, I mean, th this is like a two way street, um, of course, from the cyber backer and from the cyber CEO right now. Absolutely. Just to ask, we've talked about your experience here in Cyberbacker, talked about your Cyberbacker as well. If you would be able to think of, let's say, a phrase, how would you describe your experience with Cyberbacker so far? Oh, my goodness. One word or a phrase? A phrase. That would be fine. The best experience ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. I mean, I, yeah, I, like I said, I have no complaints. Um, I wish she was sitting right here next to me. That's how much I love this girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I literally, like she's changed my life. She's changed your life. And she's, of course. Oh, that's good, right? She's changed my yes. life. That's perfect. Yeah. That's perfect. Let's end yeah. with that quote. One last question. Would you recommend Cyberbacker to your colleagues and friends? Heck yeah. <laughs> 150%. <laughs> that's awesome. 
that's <laughs> awesome that's awesome renee so that is my last question so to our listeners if you'd like to get your weekends back just like renee did when she had her own cyberbacker visit our websites that would be posted on the link so renee i know you're very busy thank you very much for your time absolutely all right y'all have a great day have a great day <laughs> bye Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.